Hi, I'm Representative Luann Van Worven, and I'm standing on the steps of the Capitol. One of the things I wish I could share with my constituents back home is the awe-inspiring beauty of the Capitol campus, the architecture and the buildings that make up the state capitol. This time of year is especially beautiful because of the blooming trees and the flowers and the tulips. This is a great and beautiful place to go to work every day and serve the constituents of the 42nd District and Washington State. You may not know this, but the construction of the Capitol was complete in 1928, and it took six years to construct. The Capitol has withstood three major earthquakes. The most recent in 2001 was called the Nisqually earthquake, and a lot of renovation was needed to repair the Capitol. As beautiful as the campus is on the outside, the inside of the Capitol is even more beautiful. And over the next several weeks, we're going to be spending most of our time on the floor of the House, passing bills and budgets. The capital budget, the operating budget, and the transportation budget. Both the House and the Senate have passed their operating budgets. I was unable to support the Democrat budget that was passed from the House because it requires $1.5 billion in tax increases, as well as a 15% increase in spending. These taxes include capital gains tax, which would impact middle-class families of our state. Also, a B&O tax, which would be implemented against our service businesses and also our Main Street small businesses. Interestingly enough, while we passed the budget off the House floor, which includes the 15% spending increase, they did not pass the bills which would provide the revenue for the operating budget. The Senate has passed their budget as well. And while it's not perfect, it takes a more innovative approach where we're able to meet the priorities of our state without raising taxes. They also included a college tuition reduction of 25%, which has not happened since the 1970s. The Senate has shown that we can live within our means and meet our priorities. And I'm hoping that the state Senate budget becomes the starting point for the negotiations of our final budget. And finally, for you parents who have children between the ages of 14 and 16, I want to let you know about a wonderful program down here in Olympia. It's the PAGE program where your kids would come down, spend a week serving the legislature and uh, learning about the legislative process. And I am so pleased that this week I was able to sponsor my niece, Emma Ray Van Werven. Emma Ray, why did you decide to become a page? I just thought it would be a great experience and I wanted to try something in government. Very good. And then what has been your favorite thing about being a page? Just the experience and meeting new people and it's a lot of fun. And what will you go home and tell your friends about being a page? I'd probably tell them that they should do it because they'll have lots of fun and it's a great experience. Well, it's been wonderful having you with me this week. And I just want to remind you too that um, a representative government really only works when the citizens are involved and your input helps me to do my job better. Thank you for watching today.